Hello everyone, I'm Ashok. Welcome to another video on Pandas Tips and Tricks. In this video, we're going to look at the apply function of Pandas. How it is helpful, what's the purpose of it, um, how it basically reduces your uh, number of lines of code and making it more easy and readable. To demonstrate the purpose of apply, I'm going to use a very small data set with 10 records. It's basically a, a flight price, um, sorry, not flight price, it's a, a flight operator route and the duration of the flight. Okay, uh, I'm going to just create a simple Jupyter file, Python file, Python 3 file. <coughs> I'm importing pandas. Is that visible? All right. As PD, data is equal to PD dot read CSV. Then you have um, flight data. So this is the top five records. It basically has operator code, route, and duration. Great. So one of the problems we have in this data is duration is given in hours and minutes and this is not a numerical data. So we need to convert this data into a more numerical data for our analysis, maybe a statistical analysis or creating a predictive model with machine learning. We need to convert that into a numerical data probably in minutes. So the goal is to goal is to convert the duration field field or column column duration to duration minutes column which just contains the minutes <coughs> okay um, if you for for doing this first we need to actually uh, see how can we do that i'm taking the first thing and I can clearly see that, you know, it basically has 2H and 5M, M for minutes. I'm going to split this data first. Before doing anything, let me just store this data into something like D. So it's easy for us to interpret. And I say D split. When I do the split, I get, um, let me just put the D here. So I get a list which splits the data into 2H and 5M, all right. And then what I can do is I can take the, the initial like the first part of the split which is your 2h and replace it the h with nothing essentially that becomes just 2 and convert the whole thing into an integer becomes an integer and multiply with 60 that becomes 120 I'm not going slow here uh, because this is not the purpose of this video. The purpose of the video is to demonstrate the apply. So essentially what I've done, I've split the data. I've removed the edge by just replacing with nothing and converted them into an integer and multiplied by 60. I'll do the same thing for minutes as well, but minutes is a second data actually. And I convert the M into nothing I just remove it. And this is your minutes. Minutes will stay just five. And and if you simply add this plus this and there we have our required data which is 125 minutes so i need to run this logic record by record for all the records in a data sets you know practical data sets might have tens of thousands of records so we need to run in all of these things a traditional way of doing things is by using a for loop I can say for d in um, data dot duration. So what it does, it takes a, a record by record duration data into my d, and then um, I also need to have an i here, okay? And I can say enumerate, okay? All right, and I can simply use this exact same logic, the whole logic, and that will give you um, basically duration in minutes. Then I'm gonna say um, data dot i l o c, and I pass on my i, which is the index number, 
and I'm going to say dur minutes is equal to dur. Okay, great. So the i contains the location, uh, the the row uh, row number. So when it first when the for loop runs for the first time, i will be zero, and then uh, one, two, three, four. And accordingly, this logic is computing the minutes and storing it here. I'll just run this one. I have some error. Oh. Starting point, ending point. Okay. Only index location, index by location. Hmm. Did I say ILOC or LOC? Uh, you don't have to say ILOC because my duration minutes is location. It's not index. My apologies. Okay. So if you look at my header now. So nicely, I have converted all of your data into minutes. Perfect. This is a traditional way of doing things. Absolutely no problem with that. Can I do it better? Well, uh, this is simple logic. Uh, what I can actually do it, I can apply the same logic in a function, for example, like this. Diff, I'm going to say uh, function name is duration. Um, I can say duration. Fine. And um, I'm going to take D as an input. And then I write this entire logic. Okay. And that's what I'm returning here. Yeah. So I'm returning, um, I, I take the D, I split it, uh, all the logic which I've discussed before, that's what I'm returning here. So I just had one function which can replicate what I've done there. Now, what I'm going to do is, rather than writing the entire for loop and, and things, I can simply say data and uh, duration means, which is the field I would like to store, a new field, all right. And then I can simply say data dot duration, which is a which is the actual field and say apply and just give this due okay and run it voila exact same results but look at this it's a pretty clean just one line written function uh, one line function and uh, just a very clean apply so this is how the apply is is, is being used and what exactly does as you could imagine it takes the value uh, it basically takes a function and applies on record to record basis or record by record and apply has been used heavily in data transformation in in pandas and data preparation okay so that's it i'm going to upload this uh, file in in github and uh, share this link and also uh, a small data set which i've created for this purpose I hope you find this video helpful and this series helpful. If you like this series of pandas tips and tricks, please subscribe and also click the notification button. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.